There has been so much progress in Vibonia. I can hardly believe only a year has passed. We're experimenting with reservoirs fashioned out of concrete. And what exactly is concrete, Marcus Fabricius? A mixture of stone and cement, which can be moulded to any desired shape. Hmm. Extraordinary. It was demonstrated to me by an engineer from Rome. A wooden support is erected and brick reinforcing arches are constructed over it. The entire structure is lined with flat bricks and wooden forms and then covered with this concrete. When the concrete hardens, we will repeat the process over and over until the entire reservoir is complete. It can be moulded to any shape, yet will retain the strength and solidity of stone at a fraction of the weight and cost. What will the Romans come up with next? Many people live in completed houses. And for the first time in my life, I have a house of my own with all its comforts. And this garden in the back lets in much sunshine and takes advantage of the cool breezes. One could get lumbago from these drafts. Lawrence, you are always complaining. Praise the household gods. He always provides me with ample to complain of. Someday, when I can afford it, I shall have a proper slave. With my new elevated status in life, I can partake in luxuries I could only dream of up till now. And Gaius Valerius has invited prominent Gauls to use the new bathhouse, donated by their exalted countryman Lysinus. It certainly was generous of Lysinus to build this bathhouse. Lysinus is always generous with other people's money. What do you mean? He has taxed all the Gauls to ruin. But since this does not affect you Romans, perhaps you do not care. But Lysinus must have a plan. Yes, to become rich. Make no mistake, I have seen his kind before. He would sell out his own people if it would... Acco Bouveix, my humble master, Lysinus, requests the honour of your presence in Marseille, two days hence, at the third hour after dawn, together with General Gaius Valerius. See? There you are. When the fox invites the rabbit to dine, the rabbit should first know the menu. And therefore, I shall require two months' additional taxes from everyone. Have we not already paid through the year? Ah, mm, that is an interesting point. As the month called December means the tenth, we will add two more following it to fill out the year. Of course, in the spirit of harmony, Roman citizens will contribute as well. That is preposterous. It is not preposterous if I say it is not. Surely you cannot mean. Surely I can mean as I wish. Do not forget yourself, gentlemen. I am Lysinus, procurator of Gaul, the representative of Imperator Caesar Augustus himself. Mm. <laughs> I tell you, this new tax will not sit well with my people. Nor with mine, but they will only grumble. You must deal with your countrymen to keep the peace. Though I am a chieftain, I do not command the loyalty of all. Such wanton destruction. That's such a great act of generosity. What could it mean to break off the right hand? Who would do such a thing? Perhaps they who have had it done to them. But... Now we all have peace and opportunity under Rome. Not all the Celts feel that way. Aidan. The Druids certainly do not. The Druids, they hide in the woods and pray to trees. They're all living in the past. Um, look, I'll, uh, I'll see you tonight. Hmm? Second hour after sunset? Yes. And if perhaps your daughter is not otherwise engaged... My daughter will be pleased to accept your generous invitation. What? Set one more place for dinner. Oh, of course. Why not? Let's have 20 more. No, 30. What's Caesar's army doing? I'm sure there's a garrison that hasn't eaten. Hmm? Just one moment. I'll see to the delay. Believe me, Master, I want this to work even more than you do. What are you talking about? To impress the young lady into marrying you, heaven help her. Who said anything about marriage? 
I've seen the way you regard her. I could not marry her. She's not a Roman. You'd best marry someone or I shall die of exhaustion. And then you'll have to do your own work. You're not overly burdened. I'm a slave. You treat me like a wife. Oh, of course. Why not? 